ventilated wall space. Add that to the reinforcing studs placed near each intersection, and it adds up to 80 linear feet. And if you take this 80 feet and multiply that times the 8-foot ceiling height, you end up with 640 square feet of uninsulated wall. That's 640 square feet of your exterior wall that has no insulation whatsoever. Thermal imaging cameras. Now this is an important development. Hasn't really affected the construction industry yet, but it's only a matter of time before we start to see buyers using this technology. It used to be that defects in the thermal barrier were invisible. Today, infrared cameras allow buyers to photograph a property before they buy to get an accurate picture of how well the walls are insulated. In this example, you see the front of a two-story home that to the naked eye looks to be well constructed. With one infrared picture, you'll see that this brand new home wastes a tremendous amount of energy. Number one points out poor insulation all around the window. This could be the result of double or triple studs or insulation that was just stuffed into a small opening. Number two represents an air leak and an interior wall intersection. Number three is the uninsulated floor sill, which is pretty standard. Number four is a heat register placed on the exterior wall that looks like it's heating as much of the outdoors as it is indoors. And number five shows light boxes that were framed out to support light fixtures. By now, I think you have a pretty good idea of why we call wood frame and fiberglass the whole wall with an H, or better yet, hole in the wall solution. So what exactly is whole wall with a W, R value? All mass wall manufacturers like Rostra use an R value rating system called effective R value or a whole wall method of rating. It's developed by the Oak Ridge National Labs. Oak Ridge is part of the Department of Energy and managed by UT Battelle. The idea of this rating system is to assign a value for the real performance of the entire finished wall, not just the insulation. Effective R value includes the thermal performance of details like corners, windows, and interior wall connections. This system also accounts for air leaks and moisture penetration. It's a measurement that actually provides an accurate and useful rating for your entire finished wall. Appliances and windows now all have energy labels, but when it comes to exterior walls, which make up the majority of the building's shell, buyers are uninformed and possibly even misled about the energy loss associated with wood frame walls. It's hard to argue that the most important component of any building is the exterior shell. Certainly, it's the most dominant. The building shell is the first line of defense against the forces of nature and keeps you safe and comfortable. It's also the component that has the biggest impact on energy usage, so it stands to reason that the materials you use to construct these walls should be given serious consideration. Unfortunately, more time is usually spent on finished choices than on the makeup of the exterior wall. The wall materials that are discussed are usually finished materials, like the siding and brick. According to Oak Ridge, the average finished wall performs at less than half the advertised R value of the insulation used. Because mass wall systems like Rostra are gaining in popularity, the need to come up with a better way to measure thermal performance of exterior walls is becoming more obvious. Until now, there was no real reason to worry about a separate rating system because a wood frame and fiberglass wall was the only solution being used. But with mass wall systems becoming more popular, a more accurate way to measure becomes necessary. Hopefully this presentation will shed some light on why today's rating system is in need of serious change and people will begin to demand more accountability. Throughout this presentation, we've referred to Rostra several times, so before we go any further, we want to explain what a Rostra system is. A stay-in-place insulating concrete form. As you can see here, Rostra provides a range of important benefits, but our focus today is on energy savings. Rostra is a mass wall building system made up of 10, 12, or 14 inch thick panels. And the panels are made of 85% recycled styrofoam and concrete. It's simply a better mousetrap. Once panels are stacked up, the interior cavities form a grid of 6 inch diameter channels. To increase strength, steel reinforcement is added as the wall is being built. 
and once the wall is fully in place, the core is then filled with concrete. This creates a very strong wall with tremendous thermal performance. Here you see a typical rostra wall with seams that line up with the center of the concrete core. For air to pass through a seam, it would need to pass through six inches of concrete. The concrete poured into the core actually fuses with the concrete used to make the panels, providing a very effective thermal barrier. There's no wood to shrink or rot, and air leaks are virtually eliminated. The insulation can't be compressed or misinstalled like fiberglass because, well, there is no insulation. The entire panel is made of insulating styrofoam. Rostra has ICC ratings for use in residential and commercial projects, including multi-story and multi-family projects. Of the 9 plus million panels we now have in service, about half are used on commercial projects and the other half are residential. What do you want your exterior walls to do? Protect you and keep you warm. And as you can see here, wood frame walls are inferior in every important category. It makes you wonder why anybody still uses lumber. Because Rostra creates a steel reinforced concrete shell, it also provides a safe environment that protects you against devastating storms. It's a safe bet that if you're buying one of these two cars, gas mileage would be one of the considerations. A $25,000 investment that you'll own for four or five years, and you compare fuel efficiency. But a home built to last generations and use tremendous amounts of energy, and most of us have no idea how well our walls are constructed, or even what the R value of our walls are. If we were to ask you to raise your hand right now, if you know your car's gas mileage, let's see a show of hands, most of you. Now, raise your hand if you know the R value of your home's exterior walls. Okay, and now how many of you know your wall's effective R value? Yeah, that's what I thought. So why don't we work harder to understand the energy efficiency of our exterior walls? Well, for one reason, there's so many contributors to performance that it's hard to attribute energy loss to any one area. And we also tell ourselves that high energy costs are just the price we pay to be comfortable, and there's nothing we can do about it. People also assume high performance means high prices. Well, that's not the case with Rostra. Don't assume that because one house is bigger than the other, you know which costs more to heat and cool. If the larger home is built using an energy-efficient wall system, it could easily cost less to heat and cool than the smaller house. It's true that 2x4s are one of the cheapest building materials you can buy. Frankly, they should be cheap. They rot, they burn, attract insects, degenerate, shrink, warp, and even promote mold. If wood wasn't cheap, builders would have stopped using it a long time ago. But just because wood is cheap to buy doesn't mean it's cheap to own. Mass wall systems like Rostra provide a much lower cost of ownership. So why don't more people use energy-efficient materials if price isn't a factor? Well, we think there's two reasons. One, simply a lack of awareness. These types of systems are fairly new. The other is simply human behavior, fear of the unknown. Builders have been framing wood for generations and simply more comfortable using wood. But alternative materials are gaining traction. Ten years ago, mass wall systems were almost non-existent. Today, these products make up 7% of the housing industry. This growth is being driven by owners demanding a better, more cost-effective solution. Just to be clear, Rostra doesn't always cost more than wood. On projects where design elements like arched openings or three-dimensional features are included, Rostra is often less expensive. For the sake of this discussion, let's assume a wood frame wall costs less to build. But as this chart indicates, there's more than one way to measure cost. Unfortunately, some who are more comfortable with wood often discourage buyers from using alternative materials. This occurs frequently when a salesperson is afraid to risk losing the sale on the initial price. Others just don't like to be bothered with it. Maybe the project's already been priced using wood framing, and to reprice not only the wall material but all of the other areas where we save money takes a lot of time. Until builders begin to offer mass wall systems at least as an alternative, buyers need to start insisting on better solutions. When you install a mass wall system like Rostra, savings are realized in other areas of the project that offset the increase in price. 
These are some of the areas where you can expect to save money when you upgrade to a better wall system. Some of these are one-time savings, 